Hey guys, another video. So uh, I'm just in West End right now. Um, was riding the trip to meet Lauren. Just thought, whilst all this corona shit's going on, we can't really do anything. So you have to meet and not kiss and shit and just be careful and see each other in a big open spaces. And uh, I'm just outside Asda and I need to show you guys something quick. So what is wrong with the trek in this uh, video? Can you guys tell me? Let me know in the comments before I show you uh, what you think it is, just from looking now. And if you can't see it, you've got problems because, holy shit, my well, derulio is on the floor. <laughs> Look, that's fully like twisted around and fucked. Banter. So, um, I'm walking back to Sheridan from West End today. Very nice. Um, so the track's probably going to be off road for a minute, which is my daily. I'm going to have to start riding the electric push bike around with a flat battery. So, I'm probably going to take the battery out and ride it with gears only on the electric one. Which is pretty annoying, but yeah, so I'm not sure what to buy first a new derailleur or a charger for the electric bike because they're both the same price and it's both bikes are disabled because of it, so yeah. So, no walking home from West End, Shodan, and if any of you know me, you'll know that I've uh, got bad knees. Just look at the fucking derailleur dangling down, little coat, and uh, you'll know that I've got bad knees and I. Uh, they fucking hurt to even just ride this bike for long distances or walk long distances or even stand up for too long, right? And because I've been standing up for about an hour now, just chatting with Lauren, an hour and a half kind of thing, as well as riding my bike fucking all the way here. And today, I know it's a different video for you guys, but today I did all the fucking lawn and stuff of the moment. So I've done so much today and uh, it's really taken the toll on them and I can't even roll on this back because that's on the floor. So... This is really probably one of the least fun moments of this channel. But uh, I'm not going to dwell on it for too long. Next part of this video, we're actually going to get into some fun shit rather than me bitching and moaning, you know? So, yeah. Sick. Walking is an absolute bitch. Uh, I can't ride the bike and I can't roll in it sitting upright, upright because, you know, the derailleur will go straight back in the wheel. So, I'm sat on the edge of the seat leaning all the way over. Rolling so I can make it back. And I'm actually ducking, so I might slow down a bit because this is going to throw me off and kill me if, I, uh, if it gets sucked into the wheel. But yeah, fucking hell, this, this is one of the scariest, scattiest things I've done. But it's getting me home quicker. And that's all I'm thinking of. Alright, this corner might fuck me up. Yep, I crashed. <laughs> Ow. Ooh, that hurt my hand. But I'm not going to let that stop me. Let's carry on. There you go. Set myself back up again, and we're off. Oh, that actually hurt my hand really bad. Hello. <sighs> See you guys when I get home then. So it's the next day now. Trek's there. Um, the derailleur on the floor. Look, you can see what I mean now. But it's broken because it's on the floor. Um, and yeah, I've got to move these logs in a minute. Before I do that, I've got to destroy these beds. Which is a bit of a piss take, but gotta be done in it so yeah let's get to the fucking destroying well i don't even know if i want to destroy them because there's good bits of wood in there i could use all these bits of wood for so many projects can i i don't know i'm gonna have to think about it but i've already beaten all the corners on this one and then robbed the two back corners so i plant there <laughs> oh well i'll think about all that in a minute actually i'll just stack it up nicely for now just so it's a bit better in the garden so all i've done is i've just quickly tidied the garden up a bit put the mower back over there um, move the logs over there, stack the beds up and just give a nice free space to do everything again, you know? So, uh, let's crack on with these bad boys, you know? See what we can do about these to get one good one for now anyway. So, currently I've just got, um, I'm putting all the intakes up from this one and the spark plug onto this one. Um, I've just got the new manifold on and you can see how much nicer it is compared to all the old stuff. Look, look at the bolts as well, they're not even rusty. The, the old shit is. Um, there's the two carbs, there's the old one. Still got the bracket on it, but I need to take that off so you use it on the other one because the bracket's the same, but this one won't come off the throttle cable. So it's got to stay on that one. So all I'm doing is taking that bracket off in a minute, put on that one. You can see the carbs are identical. Do you know what I mean? There's no questioning that they are the same carb, you know? So, and even if you look at the other side, they're still identical. I mean, this one's got an adjustment screw. This one doesn't, but that's because most manufacturers don't want you to adjust them, you know? So. Yeah, also this one's got a good gasket that isn't ripped. <laughs> kind of handy. 
So I'm going to work that on, work the pipes on, and uh, see what this one does. Get some more fuel out the mini motor, because that's where all my fuel is. And yeah. So I've now got the uh, intake on it, which is all happy days. Um, it's actually got an air box with this one as well. Look, it's got a little bit of sponge on the top bit. Um, and I forgot to mention what was actually wrong with this other one. Um, it's just really hard to pull the pull start. Like the pull start itself, when it's uh, unloaded from the engine, well, it was quite free. But um, it's not anymore, and it's fucking hard to pull, and it's like, pump, pump, pump. Whereas this one here, when you pull it, it's like, brr, brr, brr. It's almost like that one's got way too high compression, as if there's something wrong with it. Whereas this one has just got too strict compression, you know. Little to nothing, but you know it's good. <laughs> um, and yeah, I'm try I want to swap the spark plugs before I try anything, but it is ready to just put fuel in and try. So I might just do that, you know? Um, reattach it to the big old arm so it's all properly on. And yeah. Yeah, fuck it. Well, that's what I'm going to do. All right, I'll see you in a minute. I'm going to put the uh, big rod back through and that because it's got all my proper throttle and stuff on it. Um, I'll see you in a minute. So I've got that back on. Um, the end looks completely on. I've just got a bit of fuel up the older uh, racing beast, and uh, let's give it a pull. See if she starts. Let me just climb up quick. Now we'll see if she starts. Ready? Take the choke in the right place. That was instant. I fucking knew it was the carper, but I knew that was the issue. This thing was being a bitch, right? So the primer bowl was always full of air. There was always a bubble of air at the top of it, right? And fucking, it, just, it was just so shitty inside. Whereas this carb, as soon as I primed up on here, the bowl was completely got all the air. It's just fuel only, how it's supposed to be. Um, and of course, as you see, it started first pull. So clearly, and look, the spark plug cap wasn't even on properly. The little fucking coil spring thing. Do you know what I mean? I was running like that. Crazy. So, I'm going to have to get a new car for that one. But, I've got an idea if you guys are, if you guys want this. What I can do is I can try and turn both of these engines here into one parallel twin engine, yeah? They're both 26 cc's, so that means it'd be a 50, 52 cc parallel twin, right? And they'd be next to each other in line kind of thing. And all I'd do is I'd convert the automatic clutch in there to work on this side, on the thing. Not as a clutch, I thought it'd be dead solid, so it'd be opposed like that. But, you know what I mean? And what I'd do is I'd buy two of the exact same model carbs and stuff for the thing. Just standard carbs, standard airboxes, get it all identical, and build my own exhausts for them both. You know? Like how I was talking in the last video about the spreadsheet and that with the exhaust. So I'd literally do that for this. And um, have two pipes that kind of wrap around each other or something like that. That'd be pretty cool. And that'd be good for a go kart or something because these things rev out a fucking crazy high RPMs. So um, having two of them together, so it's only making double the power. And it's more than 50 cc's. That thing would have it fly, I reckon. Be a bit of a bitch to pull away, kind of thing. But as soon as she starts going, I reckon it would. You know, because that that's a single cylinder, like 60 cc mile racing in motor. So be, I reckon it'd be about as quick as that. Uh, maybe even a bit quicker on top speed. Probably more horsepower because it can rev a bit higher. But fuck me, that thing goes. And if you guys haven't seen the videos of this thing go, oh wait, I've even, I've never actually uploaded the videos of this thing going. Leave a like if you want to see them. They're old videos, but this thing, oh my god, we watched some videos of us flying on this thing, including one of me dying on this thing, um, and completely fucking my right knee. Which I actually fucked that same week, two more times beforehand, and it's led to like some permanent damage because now I like can't walk. So, you know, yeah. Also, just from a machine standpoint, the difference between the two is that this one's supposed to have streamer wire in it, um, and that one's a brush cutter, so it's got a big metal blade. But if you see there, look, it says it's max ten thousand RPM. Ten thousand. That's a lot of RPMs. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure. That thing there, fucking rev that to 20,000, that could be a half reduction gearbox. I don't know, I don't know what the 
ratios of all this is. But fucking hell, what? It's crazy stuff. I swear these things rev up to about 20,000 RPM because they're so little and they just rev, you know? That's where all the power is, just in the revs. Uh, Fuck no. So I've now officially pieced it on back together because now they look identical again. <laughs> Happy fucking days. Let's give it one more little test one, I reckon. What do you think? Yeah. One more little test run, boys and girls. Don't mind if I do. Right, switch on. Pull one, strap it. <laughs> runs fine, the strimmer runs fine, the brush cutter doesn't run fine. So that's the next thing, getting that one going properly. Fuck me, also in case you didn't guys don't know, we're now in three weeks of isolation with this whole uh, Covid bullshit, so we've got plenty of time to fix these, build my own gas, get us out of cardboard, what the fuck not, do you know what I mean? So stay tuned for that shit, three weeks of fun, three weeks of hell as well, but oh well. Yeah. So I've just had a brilliant idea, right? Get the two engines, join them together in line, so that one would be there kind of thing, right? Um, get that all going good, and as soon as I've done that, get get a moped gearbox and that working properly, all adjusted up and custom made. In it, my boy. Get all that done, um, and whack it on a go kart with the auto trans. Because um, with an auto, rather than just having the centrifugal clutch single speed, it will have good acceleration the whole way through and way better top speed. Win it, my boy. And um, I think that would be the best bet to having this thing yeeting. Win it, Vern. Win it. <gasps> <laughs> yeah, I reckon that would work. So I've whipped the old lawnmower out again now. And what I'm doing is I'm routing this cable up through the frame out in there just because it keeps it a bit tidier why not i've just drilled the hole um i'm just gonna undo that nut up, and that up there and i'm gonna feed it through Ta -da! looks good if you ask me let me stand at the waist there's no shadow fucking i think it looks all right comes up here just comes out the top look goes in and boom done works fine but there's the engine brake and there's the on and off switch in there. Right, now the on and off switch is what I want to do next. So you don't have to hold that in to fucking. Then you still have to hold it in for that. So actually I'm just going to make something that holds it up there. Fuck it. Something like a metal clip or something. So I've swapped the engines over. I've taken it off the strimmer and put it on the brush cutter. This is the OG brush cutter engine. And uh, you can see inside the intake port, right? And I'm going to put the camera in its little holder for a second so I can show you this properly. But holy shit. Right, I'm just going to show you now. Right. <sighs> You can see in there, yeah? Can you see that? The side of the piston, all the way up, look. All the fucking way up and all the way back down again. Crazy, isn't it? So that's what's wrong with it. That's why it's uh, hard to pull, because it's fucking scored to fuck like that. Crazy, isn't it? Fucking crazy. So I'm down the allotment, so I just want to start the lawnmower and it's got no compression. No, oh, I'm tired it freehand. It's just not compressing anything. Sounds like the intake valve ain't even closing at all. That's what it sounds like. Fuck's sake. So I figured out the issue. Um, there's actually a head gasket leak. Um, it's leaking oil out the bottom underneath. Um, and it's also leaking compression. And if you can see the smoke coming off it now, that's after I've just gone up there to the top of the allotments. Um, and yeah, I've mowed most of the field so far, but fucking hell, you know? Oh, shit, the kill switch won't even connected. Just reconnect that. Don't know why that was like that, but everything is boiling hot right now because it's probably running hella low on oil as well. Like, there's hella smoke coming from the whole thing, you know? Like, if I pull that off, you can probably... Look, it's coming out the pipe. Because it was all in the engine, look. Um, so yeah, needs a new head gasket ASAP.
and fresh oil. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let it cool right down. As soon as it's cooled right down again, because there's still a little bit of oil in it, I'm just going to do this last strip through the middle, do a bit of that edge. And as soon as it starts smoking again, I'm turning it straight off because I don't want to heat Caesar because then a new head gasket is not the not my biggest issue anymore, you know? So yeah, just going to leave it there to cool down for a minute. Oh yeah, by the way, it's got the sock as an air filter because I'm not done making a custom air filter yet and I just wanted to do this today, so I've done that. And yes, I am being compliant with all the isolation rules and stuff. Only me and my mum have been down here and we both live in the same house anyway, so yeah, that's tight coded. So that's it for the end of today's videos. Um, the elements looking amazing, as you just saw. So got that done. The lawnmower is a bit worse for wear. Um, it no longer runs. Because I've basically like blown it up, it needs a new head gasket and uh nah I only overheated it, but it needs a new head gasket. Um Yeah, because it's pissing all the and needs oil as well now. So yeah. Oh, see you in the next video. Fucking like, comment, subscribe, share, bullshit. Sweet. Say bye Varano. Say bye my boy. He's like bye bye guys. Bye bye everyone.